Good evening, Francisco. Good evening. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excellent. How about you? ¿Qué tal está usted? Very happy. Excellent. Very, good. <laughs> very, very good. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos con la platform, Francisco? Ya terminé la número 5, solo el examen. Eh, llevo ahí. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien, me alegro. Hoy vamos a terminar la sección 5. En realidad, por si quedó alguna duda de algo, la aclaramos y ya mañana comenzamos, comenzamos y terminamos el examen, porque el examen es corto. Ok. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. Vamos a esperar a que se incorporen más, eh, más personas en el curso, All right? Solo voy a presentar la PPT. Ok, let's wait. No le han dicho nada, a ver si va a continuar con nosotros. Dijiste que no, todavía no. Yo imagino que el jueves me van a avisar de eso, right? Pero sí. ojalá que sí, <ríe> ¿verdad? Sí, ojalá. <ríe> ya nos acostumbramos a usted. <ríe> All right, excellent. Yes. Sí, ya casi se conecta alguien más. Voy a poner un mensaje en el grupo porque parece bien raro que no se ha conectado nadie. Solo usted, sí. Francisco, que lo felicito. No se ha perdido ninguna clase. Gracias. Y Leo a Romeo. All right. Hello, Romeo. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Good night. Yo, good evening. Tal? Estoy bien. Yo soy bien. ¿Y usted qué tal? Bien, acá. Ya comenzando, queriendo empezar a aprender algo nuevo. Excelente. Algo new. That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. Muy bien. All right. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Vamos a ver. Me regalan un segundito más. Solo voy a enviar un mensaje al grupo para ver por qué no se han conectado los demás. Ok. Te presto. All right. All right, let's continue, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. Let's see. Vamos a practicar un poco con el vocabulary que teníamos de ayer, all right? Esperemos que se puedan incorporar más a la clase. Mientras tanto, nosotros vamos a practicar por si quedó alguna duda de alguna pronunciation de este vocabulario, ¿verdad? Tenemos, voy a repetirlo de nuevo, escuchen atentamente y después les va a tocar a ustedes. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. En esta palabra no es water. Water significa agua. Aquí queremos expresar un cuarto, right? Entonces decimos it's quarter. It's a quarter after one. Luego tenemos it's one thirty. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. 
It's 1.45. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. All right, ahora vamos con ustedes. Let's see, Francisco, regáleme este vocabulary, please. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five at after one. It's one third, sorry. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one fifteen. It sat warren after one. It's one forty five. It's it's a warren to two. Mm -hmm. Excellent. A quarter to two. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. Ahora okay. let's see. Ya se incorporó a su cena. Hi, a su cena. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right. Qué bueno que llegó a su cena. Usted nos va a ayudar con este vocabulary. Eh, todo lo de las imágenes y el cuadro de la par. Exactly, both. Thank you. Okay. Ambos. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. In the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. Excellent, very good, Susana, that's correct. Let's go with, let me see, Jose Anaya, me regala este vocabulary, please, este de aquí. Mm, creo que se le cayó el internet. All right, don't worry, Jose. Let's have, let's see, ahora sí, ya lo veo, Jose. Perdón, perdón. Yeah, don't worry, no se preocupe. Is on o'clock. Is on o'clock. It's one o'clock. Is one cherry. Is one on five. Is five of one. Is is one forty. Is only twenty. Is twenty to what? To two. Three to two. Mm -hmm. Is one. 15 is a water. water water after one is one 45 is water to to go to go to two es que este este two es un Preposition of place. Es una preposición, una preposición de tiempo y de lugar también. Y el two es el número, right? Thank you, Jose. Very good. Let's have Silvia Guadalupe. Please, Silvia, give me. In the morning. In ah. the morning. Uh -huh. No. Eh. Ah, ah, perdón. Don't worry. In no. the morning. In the morning. I, me. A.M. 
a.m. Now, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. I at night, p.m. Min min midnight, I am. A.m. A.m. Excellent. Perdón. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Okay. Let's go bueno. with Silvia Guadalupe. Let's see, Silvita. Me da este vocabulary. Y Salomón me va a dar este vocabulary. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five of star one. Is one fixed? Is a wa water? Quarter? Water? No, quarter. Quarter. Uh -huh. Quarter. Quarter. Uh -huh. Sí, es que he escuchado que a veces me dicen water como agua y eso es diferente, right? Aquí es quarter. Quarter. Uh -huh. Oster, one, after, after, after. Mm -hmm. one, yeah. is one, and just remember how much is the thirty? Forty-five. Aquí? Sí, aquí. Okay. It's one forty-five. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter. Two two. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Sylvia. Let's go with Salomon. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Miss. In the morning, a.m. noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m., midnight, a.m. All right, excellent, Salomon, very good, thank you. Let's see, let's move on to this practice, all right? Ayer veíamos esta práctica y vamos a repasar un poquito nada más de esto, no nos vamos a entretener mucho aquí. I'm going to have Miguel Morales, please tell me this vocabulary. Usted me va a decir este vocabulario, Miguel. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock. It's twelve p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good, Miguel. Thank you. Okay. Let's have Azucena, please. Um, it's 7 o'clock. In the morning, it's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right, everyone. Let's check this one. Right? Vamos a chequear esta information que vamos a ver ahorita. Ya ayer no pudimos terminar de ver esto, right? Que es la intonation, la entonación con la que nosotros decimos las questions, right? Es muy importante que sepamos reconocer qué tipo de entonación vamos a utilizar al expresar unas preguntas, right? 
porque no siempre podemos hablar de la misma, en la misma entonación, si no, no se le siente mucho sabor a lo que estamos diciendo. Right? So let's see, tenemos, dice, notice the intonation for the yes, no, and double H questions. Les voy a mostrar esta información primero. Dice, vamos a ver, for yes, no questions, it will be a rising intonation. Una entonación que sube, right? Rising intonation. For yes, no, for WH questions, there is a falling intonation. Para las preguntas que comienzan con double H, hay una entonación de caída, right? Ya no vamos a subir, ya vamos a bajar la intonación. All right? Let me see, vamos a tener una práctica en cuanto a esto. Por eso quise mostrarles primero la información. Recuerden, para las yes o no, vamos a subir la entonación. Y para las que comienzan con double H, vamos a bajar la intonación. Y aquí tenemos cuatro preguntitas. Voy a decirlas yo primero y después todos van a pasar. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right. Ya aquí yo bajo my intonation. Eso me dice la regla, eso me exige la regla y por ende lo voy a seguir. Right? Vamos a intentar. Let me see. Vamos a intentar con Salomón. Okay, Salomón. Tell me. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Está tronando y parece que hay una buena tormenta. Ay, no. Lo digo por, con anticipación por cualquier falla. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's have Francisco Machado. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What's she doing? Así se pronuncia. Okay. What's she doing? Ah, doing. What's she doing? What are they doing? Doing. Doing. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Don't worry, friends. Okay. No se preocupe. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. Muy buena intonation. Let's have Juan Cepeda, please. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she do doing? What are they doing? Doing? ¿Cómo es? Doing? Doing. Doing? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good, sir. Thank you. Let's go with knowing. Hi, Miss. Good evening. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Very good. A falling intonation. Let's go with Azucena Elizabeth, please. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Right, excellent, very really good. Silvia Guadalupe, please. Is she heading up? Are they doing? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? doing? Doing. Uh -huh. What what are they doing? All right, excellent. Thank you, Silvia. Miguel Morales, your turn. Is she get up? Getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Thank you, Miguel. 
Lourdes. Hi, Lourdes. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Miss. All right, Lourdes, es su turno de practicar. Cuando son yes or no questions, la entonación va hacia arriba, right? Tenemos una entonación más fuerte. Cuando son double H questions, vamos a bajar la intonación. Así que, action, Lourdes. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right, excellent. Very good. Good, good. And let's have Jose Anaya. Okay. Is the girl not? Are they sleeping? Where? What? What's the? What's the? What's the? Donic. Doing. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Jose. And let me have the last person, Sandra Janira, please. Good evening. Good evening, Sandrita. Welcome. Thanks. Is, is, she, is she getting getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Excellent. Very good. All right, everybody. There you have it. Esta fue una práctica porque recuerden que dentro de el speaking, um, dentro de la pronunciación, de la manera en la que hablamos, tiene que influir mucho esto, right? Usualmente en español nosotros hablamos como así. Right? No subimos, no bajamos, no damos intonation. Pero ya para este idioma sí es necesario. Es mandatory the intonation. All right? Vamos a ver. Conversation. I'm really hungry. Right? Let me see. I'm going to, leave, I'm going to pronounce this conversation. Yo voy a hacer esta conversation ahorita. Escuchen atentamente. Y después les va a tocar a ustedes. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. All right? So let's get started. I'm going to have... <clears throat> Lourdes, you are mom. And let me see. Noe, you are Steve. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Very good. Let's go with Miguel Morales. You are Steve. And Sandra Janira, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent, guys. Very good. Thank you. Now I'm going to have Juan Cepeda. You are Steve. Azucena, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why? What are you cooking now? 
It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am very hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. All right, excellent, guys. We're getting intonation and also the pronunciation. Now, Silvia Guadalupe, you are mom. Francisco Machado, you are a Steve. Action. Hi, mom. What, what are you do, doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking no? Now? Pardon. <laughs> it's it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I am. And getting hungry. Uh -huh. And hating? Getting. Getting. Let's eat. Let's eat. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. And also, thank you, Sylvia. Now, let me see. Am I missing somebody? Yes, Jose and I. Okay, Jose. And let me see. Lourdes, you are mom. Jose, you are Steve. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Cooking. Why? Okay. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, in reality, hungry. 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 What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. All right, now listen. This conversation was just to be introduced. Esta conversación, esta conversación se utiliza solo para introducirnos al tema que vamos a ver ahorita, ahorita right? Let me see. Present continuous double H questions. Vaya, ustedes ya aprendían ayer las yes or no questions. Ahora vamos a aprender las double H questions. Tenemos Los Angeles 4 a.m. Tenemos una pregunta estándar para todas las ciudades que tenemos aquí. Pero la respuesta va a variar de acuerdo a cada city. Right? Vamos a ver. Primero lo digo yo, después voy a pedir la colaboración de cada uno de ustedes. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast, all right? Ahora les toca a ustedes. ¿Ya escucharon la pronunciation? Van ustedes. Voy a comenzar con Juan Cepeda, please. Me da todos los sucesos que están en cada city y también la hora, please. Los Ángeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's get up. Getting. New York City, getting up. Mm -hmm. Getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? 
they having breakfast. All right, excellent, Juan, thank you. Let's go with Noe, please tell me this vocabulary. Okay, miss. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? Is sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing later? Having breakfast. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now Thank I'm you. going to have Jose Anaya. Ahora usted, Jose, me da este vocabulario. Okay, Miss. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What Victoria doing? She's is sleeping eight now. Mexico City, six a.m. What Marcos doing? It's seven a.m. So he's getting good. Getting up. Getting up. Getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What I song and tank doing? They doing breakfast. They are having breakfast. They they are having breakfast. 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 Right. Thank you, Jose. Now, everybody, take a look at this one. All right. Uh, the last person that I'm going to have in this vocabulary, la última persona que voy a tener con este vocabulary, eh, va a ser Francisco Machado. Los demás van a practicar en el siguiente vocabulary, right? Action. Justamente estaba pensando que hay varios de los que están en el grupo que tienen buena pronunciación. Los felicito a todos. Yeah, indeed. Excellent. Very good. Dicho esto, continúo yo aprendiendo. Excellent. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marco doing? It's 6 a.m. She is going up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're high, having brave frog. All right, excellent. Ya ve, Francisco, usted, usted también, excellent. Estoy aprendiendo un poquito. Very good. No, está excelente. Thank you. All right, everyone. Ya tenemos este vocabulary. Nos vamos a pasar al siguiente. Los que practicaron en este, ya pueden estar relaxed, right? Siempre practiquen ustedes mismos. Pero ya no van a pasar, así que tranquilos, right? Let's see, we have this one. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? Okay, este no es Cecilia, es Celia. Sé que no se ve, un, no, no se ve nada bien en realidad, right? Pero este, hay que tratar de darle zoom y ahí lo vamos viendo. She's going to work, right? Luego tenemos London. 12, podemos decir 12 p.m. o podemos decir noon, de un solo, right? Si recuerdan, el noon es al mediodía, así que podemos utilizarlo de un solo. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Masque. 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working, all right? Ahora les toca a ustedes. Voy a tener a Susana, please tell me this vocabulary. Okay, miss. Um, what, what, what is Celia doing? She's going to work. 
Excelente. Ah, lo siento, olvidé, olvidé lo primero. Brasilia, 9 a.m. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. London, 12 noon. What are jeans in and doing? It's noon. So they having lunch? Moscú, 3 p.m. What Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent. Thank you, Susana. Very good. Ahora vamos a ver. Salomón, are you there? Because hmm, I saw your message. Hola, sí, estoy aquí. I'm here. All right, excellent. Sí, alcancé a leer su mensaje. Casi no logro escuchar. ¿Qué, ¿Qué quieres que haga? <risa> Me dice este vocabulary, please. Este vocabulario que tenemos aquí, le toca a usted decirlo. Desde la ciudad, la hora, y la pregunta y la respuesta. Ok. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What Celia doing? She's going to work. London is well known. What are James and any doing? Noon, so they are having lunch. No school, it's 3 p.m. What aren't you doing? Is working. All right, excellent, Salomon. Qué bueno que si no pudo dar el vocabulary. All right, let's go with Lourdes, please. Your turn. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She is going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's none, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Lourdes. All right, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Nos vamos a pasar a este vocabulary, right? Tenemos el último vocabulary ahorita de esta franja. Fíjense bien, tenemos dos cities más, tenemos dos ciudades más, tenemos Bangkok y tenemos Turkey. Pero luego dice your city, entonces vamos a hablar de nuestra ciudad. Puede ser San Salvador City, puede ser eh, Mexicano, City Lopango, City Soyapango, City, whatever city. Cualquier ciudad que ustedes quieran en right? O en la que vivan, it's okay. Van a, pues, van a decir, for example, San Salvador City. It's 9.40 p.m. Van a dar la hora exacta, right? Y de ahí van a decir, what are you doing? Y después van a contestar. Tienen dos options. Pueden decir, it's evening. O pueden dar la hora de regreso. It's 9.40 p.m. Pueden decir, it's evening. O dan la hora de un solo. Ustedes hacen como les plazca en esta parte. Luego van a decir, so. I'm, so I'm having classes, I'm studying English, I'm watching TV, I'm drinking tea, o I'm drinking soda, cualquier cosa, cualquier actividad que ustedes estén haciendo progresiva ahorita. También pueden decir, I'm watching the computer, I'm watching my cell phone, right? Tenemos diferentes. Ok, les voy a dar unos segunditos, un minutito exagerando para que completemos esto on your notebooks, para que así no nos agarre por sorpresa cuando ya les toque practicar.
All right, have you finished? Come on. Si necesitan ayuda, me pueden preguntar. Sí, no lo entendí muy bien. Por ejemplo, yo comencé, es, es, estoy en Santa Tecla, ten PM. All right. Vaya, eso Ajá, está bien. Pero, um, pero la oración vaya. sería I am. I am. I am. I am Santa Tecla. No, I am Santa Tecla no se puede, porque recuerde que el verb to be es la forma del cero estar. Ajá. Entonces usted puede decir, I'm living in Santa Tecla, right? Estoy viviendo en Santa Tecla, I'm living in Santa Tecla. Pero como uh -huh. estamos en realidad hablando de las acciones que estamos realizando en este momento, Usted tiene que hacer algo relacionado con lo que usted está haciendo ahorita. Por ejemplo, ahorita exactamente, ¿qué está haciendo? ¿Viendo la computadora o escribiendo? Escribiendo. Ok. Entonces puede poner, uh, I'm writing a sentence. Estoy escribiendo una oración. I'm writing a sentence. All right. Ok. Thank you. Thank Very you, Miss. All right. Excellent, everybody. Let's... Let's get started. Bye. Les voy a dar estas dos yo y después a ustedes les va a tocar compartir su information, right? Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Parmsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television, right? Um, let's get started with Azucena. Ok, este, un, conforme lo entendí yo, lo hice así. Kilopango uh -huh. eh, City, eh, uh -huh. 10 p.m. What are you doing? It's evening, so I'm studying in the English class. Excellent, very really good, that's correct. Está perfecto, Susan. Right? Vamos con, let me see, ¿quién más? Ya terminó. Este, tengo la mía. All right. Solo puse, puse lo mismo, Santa Tecla, Team PM. I am wearing a Sending. Sending. I'm writing a sentence. Uh -huh. I am wearing a sentence. All right, excellent. La última palabra, José, se menciona sentence. Sending, okay. Excellent, sir. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with Lourdes. Mexicanos City, uh, 9.45 p.m. What are you doing? It's evening, so I'm listening English, the English class. All right, excellent, very good, very good. Ah, se me olvidó decirles que también aquí pueden poner el día, it's Thursday, so I'm, um, right? Eh, pero está bien, también si dicen evening, está perfecto, porque estamos justamente en ese tiempo. Let's go with Juan Cepeda. Um, San Salvador. Ten, night, 45 p.m. What are you doing? I am in class. All right. ¿Y la acción progresiva? Ah, oops. Puede decir... Five minutes ago, please. All right, excellent. Yeah, take your time. Let's go with Francisco. Let's see, Francisco. 
Okay. Chulton City. Nine. Four. Two. Uh, what are you doing? It's watching computing. All right. Entonces, en ese caso, solo puede poner, I'm watching the computer. I'm watching computing. Okay. Excellent, sir. Very good. Vamos con Sandra Janira. Okay. Uh, Merriot City. It's uh, nine. It, it's nine to. Uh, no, it's nine past forty five. Mm -hmm. Um, and listening my English class. All right, excellent, very good. Let's see, Juan. Yes, uh, sí, sí, uh, uh, aprovechando. Sí, eh, yo ya desarrollé la sección 5 en la uh, parte 5.13. Hay un ejercicio hoy que estamos viendo la, lo de las actividades. Uh -huh. Hay un ejercicio que allí sí yo tuve problemas porque eh, lo que le ponen solamente son los sonidos. Ajá. A distinguir los sonidos, pero yo no los pude distinguir todos. Uh -huh. All right. ¿Cuál Entonces, le hizo ajá. falta? No se recuerda. Uy, me hicieron falta varios. Solamente pude distinguir eh, cuando ando en bicicleta, cheer reading bike, eh, right. swimming. All right, y... ¿Qué le parece? Usted me dice, ¿qué le parece si me escribe al WhatsApp? Si usted gusta. Y ahí me pregunta, me manda cuáles son los que necesita y así yo le ayudo, right? Ah, ok, de eh, acuerdo. Very okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Juan. Um, I am learning in class. All right, yes. very good. Ahora sí, ya tiene su progression. All right, everybody. Because of the time, por cuestiones del tiempo, no todos van a practicar en esa parte, pero sí, ya vamos a tener una parte en la que la mayoría va a practicar. Guiding structure. Vaya, mis, ya sabemos cuál es la pronunciación de la double H questions. Ya sabemos que vamos a bajar en esas preguntas. Y también ya sabemos que... Que hay preguntas estándar, también sabemos que se ocupa la ING, pero ¿cuál es la estructura para formarlas? Double H word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb in ING plus, plus complement plus question mark. All right? Esa es la estructura. Se ve larga, pero en realidad es porque tenemos lo del ING, ¿verdad? También yo puedo decir simplemente en subject plus ing y ya automáticamente mi cerebro agarra que tengo el verbo en ing, ¿verdad? Verb in ing. Ok, everybody. Copy this structure. Copy en esta estructura. Let's see. Estaba hablando y tenía el micrófono apagado. All right, let's see. If you already finished, let's move on. Tenemos los guiding examples. Tenemos cuatro, right? Voy a necesitar la ayuda de Miguel Morales. Puede leer number one and two. Y Silvia Guadalupe, three and four. 
action. What is Marcos eating right now? What are they do what are they doing? What are Michael and Jessica drinking? What am um, I psyching? Saying? Saying. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Sylvia. All right, so there you have it. Ahí tienen cuatro ejemplos, bien basics. Siguiendo la estructura, yo utilizo mi double H word. Recuerden que en, en la categoría de double H words tenemos el what, el why. Como vieron ustedes en la conversation, tenemos el why, el what. Entonces tenemos más, tenemos who. Por ejemplo, yo puedo preguntar, who is singing right now? ¿Quién está cantando ahorita? Who is singing right now? ¿verdad? Entonces podemos hacer uso de eso. Tenemos variedad. ¿Qué va a suceder para la próxima clase? Es decir, mañana ustedes van a trabajar en esto. Create two double H questions in present progressive. All right. Esta es como su tarea, supongamos. Right. Es lo único que tienen que hacer. Van a crear dos preguntas utilizando double H questions. No es que la van a crear mañana, mañana la van a entregar como un warming up, right? Let's see. Ahora sí nos movemos acá. Activities in present progressive. Voy a decir el vocabulary y luego les va a tocar a ustedes. Ok, here we go. Play tennis. Ride a bike. Aquí no es ride a bike, alright? Aquí es ride a bike. Run. Run, swim, swim, take a walk, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Ahora les toca a ustedes. Voy a comenzar con Noé. Ah, ok. Salomón, ¿tiene una pregunta? No, yo quería empezar, aprovechando ah, que tengo conexión. Excelente, muy bien. Go ahead. Ok. Play tennis. Ride a bike. Run. Swim. Play a walk. Dance. Drive. Go to the movies. Shop. Read. Study. Watch television. Right, excellent. Very good, Solomon. No mistakes. Vamos a, a ver, les voy a explicar esto antes de que pase la siguiente persona. Estos son las diferentes actividades que realizamos, right? Si es que realizamos alguna por cuestiones del tiempo, right? Pero supongamos que el shop, porque a veces vamos al supermercado, right? Shop, o oh, go to the movies, o oh, drive, que es la más común. Estos I'm driving. Son, ajá, excellent. There you have it. Estos son verbos que pueden utilizar para hacer sus acciones progresivas. Es decir, son acciones o actividades, pero los pueden hacer progresivos. Solo tienen que fijarse bien, porque por ejemplo aquí en play tennis, mi verbo es play, ya tenis es mi noun, right? Entonces lo mismo sucede con ride a bike. Ride es mi verbo. Aquí en take a walk, take es mi verbo. Watch television, watch es mi verbo. Go to the movies. Go is my verb, right? Solo haciendo esa aclaración para que no nos vayamos a confundir. Ahora sí, no es su turno, please. Okay, miss. Um, play tennis, ride a bike, run, sing, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movie, shop, read, study, watch television. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. Sandra, well, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay. Play tennis, ride a bike, run, swing, stay at work, then drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer con eso, Miss? Let's see. Practice time. 
take a look at the pictures. Vamos a echarle un vistazo, vamos a ver las pictures que ya vimos, que estuvimos viendo anteriormente, right? Write sentences in present progressive. Con estas pictures, lo que van a hacer ustedes es que van a escribir oraciones en progreso. Escriban una ahorita, right? Intentemos con una. Escogen una, una de estas actividades y la hacen en progresivo. Miss. Yes. Eh, ¿Me puede repetir la indicación que dio? Es que me tuve sí. que levantar de emergencia, pero... No se preocupe, Susana, con gusto. Estas sí. actividades que tenemos, que son verbs, algunos de ellos, right? Por ejemplo, play, right? Los demás todos son verbs. Con estas actividades las vamos a hacer progresivas. Usted puede hacer una oración, escoja una actividad y la hace en progresivo, right? Ok, Miss, thank you. All right, have you finished? ¿Cómo vamos? Ya tenemos al menos una oración. Vaya, miren, como ya casi es hora de terminar, right? Estamos a segundos de terminar la clase. Eso les va a quedar como homework. No olviden, aquí tienen ya las actividades. Solo van a utilizar algunas en progress. All right? Yes, no? Uh, ¿se está correcta esta? I watching the English class. Yes, sir. I'm watching the English class. Okay. Está correcta. Excellent. All right, okay. everyone. You're welcome. All right, everyone. It was... la tarea, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> este ya no vengo mañana, me va a decir. Thank you, Miss. Good night. All right. Good night. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Los que no me dieron la hora esta sentencia las van a dar mañana. Bye. Uh, I, I drive in tomorrow. You're driving? What? <laughs> oh my God. Bye, everyone. I'm sorry. Good evening. Good bye. Bye.